Meet my neighbour Helen. She enjoys sparkling wine. Not necessarily the fancy stuff, but the regular grocery store bubbles, like Cook's. Which got me thinking, could I use some basic beer brewing supplies to turn bottles of crappy wine into delicious champagne? No way! Honestly, I thought this would be pretty easy, but this is a journey that has taken over a year, from bottles to kegs, from safety goggles to carbonation caps. All in the pursuit of fizzy, cheap wine. And the story begins a year ago with a $7 bottle of Spanish white blend and a Chardonnay from Mendoza, Argentina. Only the finest ingredients. Chardonnay is one of the most popular grapes for sparkling wine, so this seems like a good place to start. Now, my plan here was simple. Add some champagne yeast, specifically Premier Blanc from Red Star, to each of the bottles and give the active dry yeast something to munch on by adding a little corn sugar into the wine as well. And it seemed like a good plan because this is a yeast that has a high alcohol tolerance and a great way to fix a stuck fermentation in beer, which is exactly why I had it on hand in the first place. So I took a couple of flip top bottles and sanitized them with Star Sand. Flip tops should be able to keep in all the pressure I'll be generating by turning these wines fizzy. Then I transferred the wine into the bottles. Not entirely sure how much yeast I needed, I tipped out some yeast, a scientific sprinkle, and added it to the bottle. Now we need to give the yeast something to eat, and I'm using corn sugar here, but any simple sugar will do. I'm not really sure how much sugar to add either, so in one bottle I added two grams, and in the other I added four. It's on with the flip caps, and these bottles sat out at room temp for 48 hours waiting for the magic to happen. So I don't really know anything about sparkling wine, but fortunately I know someone who does. Yeah. I've been a Andre's drinker and you tell me that that's like- Oh, the... that's garbage. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. So what would you recommend? Cooks. Cooks. This has been sat out for two days. Now we're gonna find out if it's carbonated. Nope, and it's not fizzy. Oh, that is as still as anything. That was two grams of sugar. Okay. Clearly not enough. Uh, this is four grams of sugar. Mm. There's a little. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did you I find a bubble? I found maybe like six. Just the hint of carbonation yes. in this one. So attempt number one was a failure. Perhaps what we needed was way more yeast and way more sugar. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some yeast. I'm gonna just put some in. Perfect, great. Like All right, seal it up. Wait, we should probably add a little bit more sugar. More sugar? Gently, I guess. Oh, look at that. Did you mix it before? No, should I have? Probably. Safety first. Yes, absolutely. Think we're safe? Yep, 10 days. Yeah, 10 days. 10 days. 10 days. We'll try again. Take precautions. So. We're looking for a, a loud pop and a lot of fizz. Find me some bubbles. I know. Let's. Oh God. That was a weak, weak pop. Nothing. Nothing, no bubbles. It's like pouring apple juice. Okay, this maybe yeah. maybe it was like a bad batch. Oh. Ooh. 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 No. <laughs> no. No. I got one more idea. So this is supposed to take any carbonation that is in a drink mm -hmm. and then like foam it up. Judge it up. Put some wine in here, put it on the sonic foamer. Not really doing anything. Agitate it. So what this will do is it will take any carbonation that's already in the beer and like mm -hmm. make it, or in the wine in this case, and make it more pronounced. But if there's no carbonation to start with, it's not gonna do anything. Let's bring out the air compressor. Ooh. Okay, so this is my nitro brew system. It's gonna take- I'm putting these on just <laughs> for protection already. <laughs> A wise move. So we're gonna put some wine in here and so what is this gonna do? So this is gonna take air, which is 80% nitrogen, mm -hmm. and infuse this to 40 PSI, and that will 
create bubbles in the wine. And now it should be fizzing. All right. Hey. But this is not typical champagne. Champagne is CO2 and yeah. wine, mm -hmm. right? This is nitrogen and wine. Yes, but like with champagne, there are always bubbles. Yeah. Uh, always bubbles. This is, it's like we're watching it become flat again. It was time for a fresh approach. I took a new bottle of wine and added it to a clean soda bottle. These PET bottles can handle a good amount of pressure from carbonation. To that, I added a carbonation cap. This effectively makes the bottle like a, a mini keg that only has a gas in post. Then I connected the carb cap to CO2, added around 10 psi of pressure, and gave the bottle a good shake. I kept the bottle in the fridge and would apply pressure and shake it every few days. All right, Helen, let's, let's see if we've cracked this. This is gonna be it. So this is very pressure, just feel that. Ooh. So now we've got to Something open Something's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Just don't know what. Oh my. Uh, nothing. Ooh. There's something. Ooh. There, There is a little. No. Still no. No. No, no. <laughs> well, I didn't want it to come to this, but I do have one last idea that just has to work. I poured Walmart's finest black box Chardonnay into a keg. Then I added a carbonation stone, which attached to the keg lid. I've used this for adding nitrogen to beers for a nitro pour. I sealed the keg up and left it hooked up to gas at 30 psi for seven frigging months. There is just no way this could not work. There's going to be bubbles one way or the other. Okay. Somehow. <laughs> there has right. to be. How could there not be? I am amazed. No way. Oh my goodness. Look at the effervescence. We have bubbles. We have bubbles. Champagne doesn't like have, retain a, a foamy head like a beer. No, but there's still bubbles that go throughout. Yes. Which. So, I don't know. Mine doesn't really have a lot of bubbles anymore. Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. there we go. <laughs> plenty of bubbles. Man Let's drink it quick. quick. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! You first. There's no bubbles. Are you kidding me? I have no bubbles. No, it's flat, isn't it? Yeah. Set it down fast. See if that loosens up all the bubbles. I think they're all on the side. Yeah. Like this was a really good science experiment. We tried all of the the independent variables. And none of them worked. None of them worked. So I am really at a loss. All of these steps would have carbonated a beer but the CO2 does not seem to stay in solution in the wine. A quick fizz, and then it's back to flat. Is this something that I've missed here? Have you, have you had any luck yourself? In the meantime, sorry Helen, but you'll have to stick to good old cooks for now.